Kia ora tamariki, kaiko Caitlin here. Thanks for tuning in. I've got two more stories from my favourite series. I wonder if you can guess what it is. That's right, it's Pig the Pug. He's back. He's back for two more stories with me today. So I've got Pig the Star and I've got another one after it. So let's get started with Pig the Star. Pig was a pug. And I'm sorry to say, he just loved attention. He'd show off all day. He'd shout, look at me, I'm the best. I'm a star. But then came the day that he took it too far. Yes, Trevor and Pig had a big photo shoot. They wore little costumes and looked really cute. Isn't this fun? giggled Trevor with glee. But Pig pushed right past him and yelled, Look at me! Uh oh, poor Trevor! Aren't I just fabulous? Aren't I divine? Now back off, Salami, these costumes are mine! Oh, poor Trevor! Yes, Pig ruled the photos. He hogged every shot. He whispered to Trevor, I'm hot and you're not. And under the lights, as the cameras went snap, Pig felt like a rock star. And he started to rap. Yo, I'm a star, yo. Yeah, dog, I'm the best. Now get me a donut, you sausage-shaped pest. But then something happened that changed the whole shoot. The man with the camera said, Aww, that dog is cute. Wow, Trevor's a star, the photogra photographer said. Pig couldn't believe it. And then he saw red. He shrieked, I'm the star, and he knocked Trevor flat. But Trev bumped his rocket, and the rocket went. Splat. Uh-oh, who's under the rocket? These days, it's different, I'm happy to say. Pig's dreadful antics have all gone away. He's not such a show-off, he's not such a swine, and although it annoys him, he lets Trevor shine. Alright, the second one for today is Pig the Fibber. Sorry to say, he would often tell lies to get his own way. And when he would fib, he was awfully clever. When Pig got into trouble, he would always blame Trevor. Oh, poor Trevor. You see, he would mess up the living room mat. And then he'd just point and say... Trevor did that. Or he'd shatter a beautiful vase full of flowers and then he'd just say, Trevor's been crazy for hours. He once ripped up a lovely old dress, then hid behind Trevor and made him confess. Why do you do this? Poor Trevor would say. I thought we were friends. But Pig just said, whatever. Then came the day of Pig's sneakiest plan. 
he said, I will steal all the treats that I can. They keep them up there, up high in the closet. But before I can get them, hmm, I need a good lie. And with that he blew off. Oh, it was stinky and grim. And then he pointed at Trevor and said, Yep, it was him. So Trevor was taken outside for some air. This was Pig's chance. He'd climb up on a chair. Those treats are all mine and I will gobble them all. But behind those treats, was an old bowling ball. These days it's different. I'm happy to say Pig has stopped lying. Have a hooray! He may have some bruises and one less front tooth, but he sure learned his lesson. And that is the truth. Oh, tricky pug, eh? Always up to some tricks. All right, that's it for today, Tamariki. Thank you for tuning in. There will be some more stories and group times with me coming up soon. Thanks. Bye.